I'm babies. trying to be careful not to speak for the babes that go out a lot because everyone has their reasons. Yeah, everyone has their but reasons. another reason why some girls go out and I am one of those girls is honestly because I just want to dress up sometimes. Yeah. I just want to put some makeup and on. And that's your favourite type you know, of... Mm-hmm. That's one of you your favourite I mean? ways of expressing, expressing yourself. That, you just want to dress up, just wear That's a very good one to mention because I feel like... Nice pictures, feel good about yourself. Maybe you've had a rough month mm-hmm. or maybe you just haven't worn makeup because I, I, I noticed recently I can go through like long periods without wearing makeup mm-hmm. that I miss it a little mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like I just you want to wear makeup up, and guess what this person is having an event that's not too far from me and why the girls not? are down let's just go shake a leg and go home mm-hmm. and why you can't know? people believe that that's your genuine for me it's like why can't you believe that a girl just wants to get ready and go out more time I'm not going to lie to you when girls go to things like this as well mm-hmm. the funnest part for us is when we're getting ready together yeah. oh my god and we're all just in having a good time oh listening to god. music you know, the jokes we're making you know, even the girls that I go out with sometimes yeah when we're all together having fun before we go to the event this comment always comes up we might as well stay here <laughs> like, we, literally, let's not go let's literally end up chilling here and have a great and time and go you have more fun doing that than when you, then when you get to the yo what is going on guys i hope you are all doing well so you're going to have to bear with me. My character code has stopped working. He stopped moving when I am speaking. But on today's episode, guys, we are going to be talking about girls who go out there specifically for attention from men and try and convince you otherwise. So we have a story here today where we're going to be talking about a wife doing this exact same kind of behavior, okay? Girls will sit there and try and convince you that, you know what, they go out, they dress up, uh, and they do all of these things for themselves, okay? And too many men find out the hard way that the reason why girls do these things is not because they want to feel more confident, it's not for themselves, the reason why they do it is for attention from men. Otherwise, they would sit home, they wouldn't post themselves on social media, dressing up and all these sorts of things, guys. And the funny part about this, right, is everybody instinctively understands this, okay? But nobody will pull women up on this when they're acting single, even though they're in a relationship or even, hell, a marriage. And by the way, guys, this is why a lot of dudes don't want to marry women these days, okay? You can lose your assets and crap like that. But also, it's just straight up embarrassing, okay? What kind of wife, what kind of long-term girlfriend goes out there and spends her days, her evenings, excuse me, at the club or out having girls' nights when these things are really just code for looking for more dudes so we have a story here today guys titled should i leave my wife for not deleting people on social media now this isn't a story about social media specifically it actually gets a lot worse than that so let's jump into this man's story here this is a 28 year old guy he's coming up on 30 um surprisingly like a lot of girls a lot of couples that you'll see married these days are actually married later because a lot of women will put these things off until later in life but Let's jump into the story here. He says, My wife, who is a 26-year-old woman, and I, I'm a 28-year-old man, have been together since June of 2011. Everything was great, or so it seemed, up until December of 2018. We have three beautiful children, three dogs, and a home together. Later into 2018, I noticed she was starting to dress differently, trying out new hairstyles, taking much longer to do her makeup, and going out to bars alone more frequently. I didn't think much of it at first because I trusted her up until the point and didn't think that she was the type of person to cheat. We had always had each other's location on Snapchat and the Find My iPhone app. One night when I was waiting for her to come home from her friend's house, I decided to check her location on Snapchat and it was off. This was very unusual, so I asked her about it and she replied with, quote, I just don't want everyone to know where I am all of the time. Right. This seemed odd, and I had a bad feeling in my gut. Later that night, I looked through her phone when she fell asleep. I found multiple new guys in her Snapchat, so I woke her up and I asked her about it. You know what's funny about these situations, guys? Is when you sit down and you talk to people, you talk to women, uh, you talk to men who are out here dating, people understand 
that social media is not good for relationships, but it's super funny to me how girls will just adamantly defend still having it and still actively using these things while they're in a relationship. Everybody knows that having Snapchat as a married woman is just, is just absolutely clueless. Like, you know that these things, if you want to commute with your, you know, communicate with your friends, she'll be talking over Messenger probably if she's 26 years of age or something like that. Right? Everybody knows that these applications are incredibly conducive to cheating and that social media is bad for relationships, but you know, these girls will never actually give up these things, which is a huge red flag, guys. I think Snapchat is probably the worst application for infidelity out there. And people who say that, you know, things like Instagram aren't dating applications are just out of their mind, in my personal opinion. She told me that they were just her friends. Oh, wow, would you look at that? But it made me extremely uncomfortable, so I asked her if she would stop talking to them and delete them from Snapchat. She said that she would, so I let it go. For a while, I trusted that she did what I asked and she said that she would do, but after a month or so, I started getting another feeling that something was wrong, so I checked again, and she was still talking to them. This went on for a long while, but I always decided to just let it go and trust that she wasn't cheating. Fast forward to May of 2021, I was going out of town and for whatever reason I checked her phone before I left for work. I saw that one of the guys uh, that was her quote unquote friend in her best friends list and at the bottom of the page it said that they had a mutual best friend. I brought it up to her and she seemed upset but I couldn't press it anymore because I had to go. Later that day I got a call from my wife. Check this out. She says she admitted to me that she had been having an affair with the guy on her best friend list since June of 2019. So these people have been married, I think he said since 2011 or something like that. So 11 years, this was posted uh, a day ago at, this t at the time of this recording. They have three kids together. Now, guys, anytime I cover an infidelity story or dudes go out here and get married, you already know my opinion on this. I think that paternity tests should be absolutely mandatory. I am never, and I repeat, never surprised if we see stories like these, and you know what, one of the kids or multiple of the children, hell, even all of them, turn out to be, you know, not the man's uh, kid or whatever. Right? And this, this is why, guys, so many men don't want to get married, okay? This is a dude who has three children, three dogs, and a home with this woman, and he's been screwed over since she says 2019. And whenever you hear, like, oh, I've been cheating since I was... This, this idiot has been cheating for longer than 2019, guys. This is just what she's prepared to admit to. I think the term for this is trickle-truthing, where a lot of people, when they get busted, when they get caught dead to rights, they'll only actually tell you the part that they have to tell you. Now, he didn't like have full on evidence or anything of this. I'm surprised she admitted anything. A lot of these people just won't say anything and let their lie go on forever and ever and only admit to what they have to. Um, but this is just one of the reasons, guys, because this guy, even though she cheated, he stands to lose his kids, um, his dogs and his home over this. So let's keep going here. He says they would meet up at least once a week for bedroom fun and to hang out. At that point, I was calling everyone involved to get as much information as I could. Turns out she only told me because her friend had been talking to him as well, and she told him that she was going to tell me so I would go beat him up since she was mad at him. This, this is exactly what I'm talking about, guys, okay? What did I just say a second ago? I said I was surprised that she told him in the first place because I would assume that she would let it go on forever, okay? She only told her husband because she was forced to by her friend who was also seeing this. And guys, this like ties into discussions we have on the channel all of the damn time, okay? Girls will say, oh, you know, I, did, I didn't realize he was married or he, he sees all of these other women. Um, but have you guys ever noticed how women will complain about men who are like a-holes, d-bags, whatever? They'll call them all sorts of different names under the sun but they'll chase the guy who has multiple women already and they'll always pretend like like it's, a, you know, it's a complete accident. Guys, whenever a girl like goes out there and she gets with a dude who's married I, and she, she says afterwards, oh, I didn't know he was married or I didn't know he had a girlfriend. Yes, you did. Okay, you're just lying to yourself. You knew or you could have put two and two together, but you want to have that, what's it called? Plausible deniability is, uh, is what it's all about. So anyway... Uh, he says, I found out she had bedroom fun with at least one other dude had been selling certain things to my now ex-best friend. This guy needs to just be very careful of the people he chooses to allow in his life. He's letting absolute clowns into his life. 
had talked uh, to and sent certain things to multiple other guys. I also found out that she had gotten uh, caught certain things and treated me for it without my knowing by putting the medicine in a vitamin pills that we were taking to be healthier. Wow. I have not heard that one before. I'll be honest, guys. I have not heard that one. So th she, uh, you know, she got out there. She caught something. And, uh, and then he got it because obviously they're together and, you know, husband and wife. And she then went ahead and treated him without him even knowing. Guys, is that not the most, one of the most insane things that you've heard on this channel? Holy. He says, at this point, she was begging for my forgiveness. And after a couple of days, I decided to take her back because I do love her and we have children together. Th this is the point in the story, guys, where I have to hold the dude accountable for choosing to stay with this woman right here. If your girl... Let me, let's rewind back to the start, okay? If your girl is going out on girls' nights out, she's dressing up, she's going to bars alone, I don't care if that's your wife, I don't care if that's your girlfriend, she's no longer your wife or your girlfriend. She was gone way back ages ago. And you should have been too, as well. If she wants to go out there and act as though she's single, she can be single, guys. Let her be single. Let's continue. My parents are divorced, and I did not want my children to go through what I did. February this year, I found out she had still been meeting up with him. Again, I took her back. See, this is what I'm talking about. This guy has no self-respect whatsoever. I, sw I swear to you guys, men need to have more self-respect. We need to start developing uh, things like the ick. I'm sure you guys have heard that term being thrown around lately. And she assured me that it would never happen again. And she was over that part of her life. Even if she was, right? Guys, let's just hypothesize here for a second, okay? You've got a girl and she says, man, it's weird doing this recording and my character's not moving. That's great. I gotta get that code fixed. But, you know, it's funny because she'll say that that part of her life is over, guys. And let's just say that it's true, even though it's not. Let's just say for a second that she's telling the truth, she's not going to see more guys, okay? And she wants to be faithful and stick with her husband, and that's who she is now. Why would you want someone like that anyway? Even if she's telling the truth and she's, you know, she's going to be right here on out, you know, she's found God or she'll say something stupid, okay? Like, God, it disgusts me, man, when these people try and use faith to, you know, to cover up their... They use it as some sort of, like... They'll be like, oh, I did all of these things, but now I believe in some... Now I'm a good person. That's not how it works, okay? But uh, I don't even know why, even if she wasn't lying, you would choose to take back a girl like this. He says, I don't believe that anything has happened since then. Her communication has been much better. Oh, wow. <laughs> Fantastic. As if we give a crap about that. And if I start to feel like something is going on, she will send me a picture or FaceTime me. Things have been going okay, but my trust for her is not great after everything. She has his family and friends all on her social media, and it has bothered me for a long time. I have brought this up to her many times, and she refuses to remove them because she says she likes them a lot, and they weren't part of the problem. Yeah, your girl, this is not your girl, my guy. She refuses to even delete these people off her social media. That's crazy. This is how you know that she doesn't respect the guy at all. Because she, he has no self-respect for himself. That's She doesn't respect him, and he doesn't respect himself. It's, it's just absolutely disgusting. He says, I find it extremely disrespectful, and I don't understand why, after everything, she refuses to do something so simple to make me feel better. After arguing about last night, I finally told her that I'm done arguing about it, and I'm leaving her if she doesn't delete them. She said that she is not doing that, and I'm stupid if I leave because of it. I told her that I am serious, and I will be filing, I think he meant to say, for divorce. This morning I woke up and I feel bad for it because I still love her and I worry about what my kids will go through. Am I doing the right thing or should I just let it go because it's not a big deal? No, my friend. Follow through with the divorce. Get rid of this woman and leave her and kick her to the curb. And in a lot of these situations, by the way, it's typically like dudes like this who lack the self-respect and who are in situations like these are usually like paying for the house and stuff like this. Like the girl doesn't want the relationship to end because she's benefiting from it. So let's read some of these comments, and then we'll wrap up today's episode. We have uh, Troyfi here who says she's 100% in the wrong after continuously, spelt very questionably, uh, cheating. She doesn't deserve you. This individual here says you are not leaving your wife for deleting people on social media. You are leaving her for consistently lying to you, manipulating you, and being unfaithful in your marriage. 
I like the, I like this person's response here. He says, uh, "Holy f! You need to you desperately need to pull your head out of the ground and leave this sick woman. Get your children and pets away from her. She lied to you, cheated on you multiple times, lied to you some more, gave you something questionable, and that's that's incredibly disgusting." He says, "Get to a lawyer immediately. There is a high likelihood that she broke a number of laws by getting to to do these things. You need to find a way to get her kicked out of your house, not because you want to be vindictive for her cheating, but because she's a danger to you and your." family what excuse would she make for you doing this seriously get a lawyer one who will assist you with the criminal aspects of her actions i want you guys to leave some comments and some thoughts on this by the way uh, before we wrap up today's episode because i think that's actually one of the craziest things we've ever heard in one of these stories a girl going ahead and doing these things and, and it just disgusts me how the guy always at the end he's like am i making the right decision he's been so brainwashed and he's actually considering staying with the woman which is just terrible uh, blah 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 you should leave her for the cheating and lying uh treat yourself better than that good stuff dude she's secret <laughs> wow this isn't a, i got too drunk on a girl's night and gave uh certain things she had a boyfriend for three years how long have you been together what percentage of that time is three years you did what you thought was right for you and your family and tried to save the relationship but she went back to him I don't even believe that you should be trying to save these situations in the first place, right? Like, if somebody does this to you guys, like, once the trust is broken, uh, she has to get out of the damn house. But guys, we are going to be leaving today's episode there. Remember to leave your thoughts and your comments. Hopefully, I can get my character up and working, but I'm not too hopeful. A, a bit of an update screwed with the code, so I'll see what I can do. Otherwise, guys, make sure that you take care of yourselves, and I'll be seeing you all in the next episode. Peace.